welcome to my channel. Hi, welcome to my channel, Raw Lauren. I have for you a little grocery haul taste test. Also, it's my birthday. Yay! I am 34. I'm proud of it. This is going to be the best year ever. I can feel it. So, I went out for birthday dinner in Japanese. I had all weekend stuff. Uh, soup potato sushi, um, um, noodles, vegetables, uh, it was really good. Um, and then I went to Starbucks and, well, I went shopping and went to Starbucks and, and we got a strawberry and cream frappuccino with coconut milk and no whip, so... I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to start off trying this and let you know how it tastes. Um, really good. And really so much similar to the regular strawberry and cream fresh, you know, if you've tried it before. Go ahead and try it with coconut milk or the soy milk. Mine has both. My Starbucks is both. So it's really cool to be able to have this option there. Uh, next, um, maybe I'll cleanse my palette. I'm, <laughs> no. Uh, this is Hint Water. It's water infused with watermelon. And watermelon, as you can see on my header, my, my, um, YouTube, uh, site images, I'm all about the watermelon. Watermelon is my favorite fruit. So. I am waiting, waiting, waiting for my store to come out with watermelon water. WTR water? What? Hmm. Anyway, they are a brand. They sell watermelon juice. And it is so good. I've tried it at a... I go to a John Eagle. So I've tried it actually at a John Eagle in a different city in Pennsylvania. From where I'm from. And they had it. I contacted my giant eagle, showed them the bottle of watermelon water, said, I would like to have this in stock. Then I talked to, I sent a Twitter tweet to watermelon water, saying, I would love to find this in my local store. I've seen it at other giant eagles. Why don't you have this? And this was back in January or February at the latest. It was a while ago. Watermelon Water texted me back and said, Good news, we talked to the manager, your giant eagle, and they're going to give him stock. Just, you know, wait a few weeks, maybe, until they have it. I waited and waited. It's not here yet. Well, I'm talking about giant eagle. They have revamped their whole entire store, pretty much. They had a dedicated organic section right after the previous area and there you find everything you need organic vegan brand name items it was great again there wasn't a ton of stuff but it was good um now they have nothing there all of the vegan organic products are intermixed with all of the other products in the stores, so if you want vegan, you know, if you want like nut butters, um, it's in with regular peanut butter and jellies. If you want, um, organic cereals, it's there with the cereal aisle. If you want, um, Earth Balance, it's in with the butter. Although, Oh, yeah, um, vegan ice creams, and with the ice cream, all that stuff, it's great, but now there's no vegan cheese products, so there used to be Daya Shreds and Go Veggie, which isn't vegan, but now there's none, and I'm hopeful that they're kind of revamping their store, kind of making organic and vegan more accessible and more, like, familiar, like, oh, yeah, well, this is just a non-dairy or you know, a meatless option. <laughs> it's there with everything else. But 
they don't have everything yet, so, or it, the stuff they even had before, they don't have again. Anyway, hit water. <laughs> Sorry, back on hit water. Um, it's zero calories, it's unsweetened, it just has the flavor of watermelon, so, I will try it. Watermelon, I uh, yeah, definitely tastes like water, like, drink this stuff just like regular water, I do a lot. So it has this that hint, that fruity hint, that's really cool. It's definitely not watermelon water or watermelon, watermelon juice if you make it your own, but pretty good. Last thing I got, and I was so excited to see this, in the section where you'll find, I think, Chips and other like nuts, snacking nuts, um, jerkies, things like that. They have kind of really cool section. They had, I think, I heart quinoa puffs. I didn't get this this time, but I might try them next time. And they had these rhythm superfoods kale chips, all different flavors. I was so happy. I never make. Oh, I take it back. I have tried making kale chips before. It didn't work. I burned them. Oh, I was busy cooking dinner, multiple dinner, and I didn't pay attention. So I haven't tried actually making kale chips since then. So I never actually taste them. <laughs> um, but I'm excited too because I love kale. I wouldn't like, like them in a chip variety, so it's a tiny little bag for a lot of the money. I mean, it's three quarters of an ounce, or uh, what was it like? I'll find out. Um, let me see. Kale chips. Two twenty nine. Alright, I guess it's not that bad. They have larger bags, but they have I think jalapeno. Mm, not not any spicy stuff. And they have ranch flavor. So I might have to try ranch sometimes if I like these. But if I like these, I'm gonna make my own. Okay. A little dried up cluster. My question is, are these baked or are they dehydrated? I have a dehydrated. Well, my mom has it, but, um, I can get it back. Um, but. Wow. That's good. Really good. It's that hint of saltiness that you want to find. Um, has kale, sunflower seeds, tahini, which is ground sesame seeds, carrot, apple cider vinegar, cane sugar, onion, sea salt, and lemon juice. So. It's the original flavor. There's no other flavor. I'm kind of like, maybe I do want a flavor. Maybe I want like something that has a little flavor. So I'm excited to try the ranch flavor. But these are good. These are like crunchy little bits with. Well, I'm assuming they use the sunflower seeds and. Um, the tahini to kind of provide a little bit of that cheesy bit. I don't know. I mean, I heard people just, just using, just doing the chip with the salt and maybe the vinegar and sugar. I'm assuming that that's provide a little bit of something and add a protein. I guess, out of fat, to coat it. These are really good. 
go ahead and try something new, you know. You might actually enjoy it. Um, I have the, um, nutritional yeast, sorry, <laughs> at home. I'm thinking gel tips, sea salt, nutritional yeast. That might be good. I'm not sure what they use in the ranch flavor. I'll have to find out. But I do want to try the ranch ones. But those are double the size of this. Something like that. Two ounces. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and they are double price. So. They're a little expensive. But they're good to try. Something new, right? Yeah. So. I hope you enjoyed my little taste test today. You get a two, two for two today. I filmed a taste test of Ben and Jerry's uh, new Monberry um, vegan <laughs> um, frozen desserts. So I haven't got that put up yet. So you'll get both. But it wasn't filmed on the same day. But Thank you for joining me today on my birthday and uh, enjoying some new foods. And I'll see you later. Bye. Chia. Later. <laughs>